Hi there, welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to create Azure Virtual Machine with the help of PowerShell commands. So to do that, I can open either direct PowerShell from my run and then I can use as you connect a command to connect it and then execute. Or I can use the Cloud Shell. So I prefer to go with the Cloud Shell. The reason being I don't need to install anything and most of the things are easy and uh, it's easy so easy that you can connect and you can work from anywhere so just click on that so this would ask you to either go to bash or powershell so switch back to powershell if if you are not connected to powershell just try to switch back from bash to powershell later point you can actually walk directly from the powershell so if you want a full screen just expand to the full screen and type whatever the commands you want like help or whatever those commands that are compatible so i'm just going to create a new resource group called my resource group here so the command is simple new az a resource group with the name called my resource group so this is where the resource group name it's going to create so if i just show you here currently i don't have uh, any resource groups in this uh, virtual uh, in this account so other than this cloud shell or uh, specific uh, resource group so there's no other resource group other than that so i just executed the specific command uh, new az resource group with a name called my resource group and location called each use so if i just filter within the specific resource groups i should be able to see here my resource group and within this resource group there is no resources that are created so now it's time for us to create a virtual machine within this resource group for doing that again i'll go to the cloud shell and execute few of the command and instead of i directly show there i'll just try to show you in the iac so it's iac is the editor for you so you can actually uh, view in a better way of what is happening within this uh, complete script so you see here i'm using a command called new azvm that's nothing but a new azure vm I'm gonna try and the resource group is my resource group that we just created and my name of my VM is like if, if example I wanted to give here as the uh, VM01 example uh, my VM01 you can give that and your subnet name whatever you want the subnet and the location is yours and the virtual network name is my VNet so let's say if this is uh, a web app specific so you can give here uh, web app VNet oops sorry for the caps so web app of vnet you can give that and also this is the subnet is again uh, here you can give here as a subnet as hyphen subnet maybe in that way web applications vnet specific subnet this is and the security group it's going to use that's a nothing but a nsg so in this case the nsg is my network security group maybe you don't like it so you can give as my vpn uh, that's my vnet specific uh, nsg so you can give us an nsg and the uh, public ip address yes my uh, vm01 pip so you can give here pip that's a public ip in short uh, this is a pip stands public ip address and you're going to open the ports as it and uh, 3389 the ports you're going to open in a and you're going to create a location called ECS. I hope this is easy for you to understand. If not, you can check out the documentation how to create for AZ uh, VM specific commands. And you see here the last I have given this. This is the, just a shift, uh, the first key beside the left. And uh, this says that it's a continuation of the next line. So that's why these so are all the next continuation of my powershell script here and simply i'll just use this as it is script and execute here within the powershell window so you see here it's everything has taken and if i just click on hit enter it's going to create a new virtual machine so let's hit enter it's asking for the user id so uh, definitely i should be able to create a user id for this so the account id is adm hyphen phdy example and the password of this virtual machine that needs to be connected i'm typing here my password and one more time if it is asked the password we can give so it's just in the process of creating 
So what happens is in the back end, it's going to submit a deployment status. So we should be able to see the status here. If you see here, four percent completed, it might take a minute. Now the virtual machine has created successfully and what we can do is we can minimize the cloud shell and just go to our research group here and do a quick refresh and you should be able to see like the virtual machine name called my vm01 that's what we specified here the virtual machine name and the location is east us and the vnet name is web app vnet that's what the vnet so it should be a web app specific vnet so web app vnet that's a vnet and this is a, a nsg uh, that was created so as we expected it has created let's connect to the virtual machine to connect to the virtual machine if it is a windows machine just download the rdp file if it is ssh uh, that means the virtual machine should be a linux then in that situation we would be using ssh and we talked about it in detail about the bastion service within the networking section you please do check out that uh, so with the help of bastion you can connect directly from the azure portal to the virtual machine so you don't need to download any of these so it's more secure than uh, opening a port over public uh, network rdp or ssh instead of that you can actually connect with the bastion within the portal so in our case since it's a test vm we are trying to connect from the rdp so i'll just use that and say connect so that's going to connect my virtual machine and uh, rdp open this file and give the user id so you remember the user id what we have given here within the shell was uh, adm iphone paddy if i'm correct yep this is the user id so i'll just give that user id and the password whatever the password i regularly use so it should be yeah that's a password so just click ok so i'm able to connect to the virtual machine that's how we can connect to the virtual machine now the VM is connected successfully so let's see uh, by going to the Azure portal once again and I'll just minimize the cloud shell and I'll go back to the virtual machine so within this virtual machine we did open a port if you remember here like the port 80 and 3389 so 3389 was for uh, RDP but a port 80 also we open so let's have a look on in our NSG so you see here NSG is open even port 80 for that virtual machine so within this virtual machine I'm going to install port uh, 80 specific which is nothing but a web application so that I'll try to access from my external network select the web server specific role within this wizard and click on default so uh, this is just uh, just a test from an external side whether we are able to browse with a public IP that was assigned for this virtual machine is this so if you try to browse from my local machine network this public IP I should be able to browse that on a port 80 but since it is still installing I'll not get any response and once as soon as this has completed this uh, feature installation or role installation then I should be able to get here a response now the web application rule has successfully installed on this machine so let's try to browse this i should be able to see here a web application which is hosted on that machine so we were able to open that let's say you want to clean up this everything so how do you do so just go to the again to the cloud shell and uh, you can delete the resource group so to do that from GUI, we can actually delete this. Let me show you that. So just go to that specific resource group. So in my case, uh, if this is a resource group, I'll just have to click on that specific resource group and go ahead and delete that specific resource group. So I open this resource group already. So I can click on delete and give this resource group name here and say confirm uh, to delete. So it's going to delete my virtual machine, my NSGs, VNet, public IP, which we created as part of the as part of the script uh, installation with the virtual machine all that gets automatically deleted uh, what if, if you want to you know, delete uh, everything so you just have to use this command remove hyphen az resource group that's a resource group name 
you give it so this is my resource group name so in this case that's the resource group name right so we are going to try with the cloud shell this time so i'll just paste this command as it is so it says hey are you sure you want to delete your resource group by deleting that all the resources which are part of this resource group will be deleted are you really sure that it's going to ask you so you can give us a yes because do remember that you cannot even retrieve that anything including the microsoft also cannot help you in terms of uh, retrieving the any of the resources once you delete it so click on delete uh yes so i'm going to delete by doing this what happens is now the virtual machine gets automatic uh shut down it's going to automatically shut down and uh, it's it's going to stop my entire billing for that specific resources um, by doing that we will be in a uh, stage where we will save the cost uh, let's say if you're trying with your uh, free trial and you might have maybe hundred dollar or two hundred dollar of credit with msgn or maybe a subscription based so you can save that by deleting all these resources so you see here it just got in a shutdown state and if i try with this public ip again browsing also it's not going to work anyway so that's how you can actually delete and uh, if I just go back here and do simple here if you see here six of the resources were there and if I do in a quick refresh it goes a few of them as we talk it got deleted uh, as we talk here and uh, the complete resource group is no more and if I just go back here uh, even from here uh, it was confirmed the deletion process so that's how we can delete and we can create a virtual machine from the PowerShell and uh, now you know that how to clean up your resources so that you are not going to build uh, by deleting that specific resource group and try to walk any of the lab just try to stick to your new resource group and uh, new resource group once you completed your lab you can simply delete that so that you are not going to actually charge for that and you can enjoy your free credits that you have i hope this entire is useful for you thank you for watching this